is there something that you wish that people would ask you that they don't that you'd want to talk more about that's a good question i haven't thought about that let me have a think something that kind of burns on you and you're just like dead gun i wish we would talk about this more people would focus on monetizing their traffic rather than just trying to get their traffic i see all these fancy search console graphs and then like I'll be like, well, how much do you make? And it's like a fraction of what my sites that are three times lower in traffic make. People just, it's vanity, traffic is a vanity metric and it's like, it's only correlative. And I wish that people would not go, oh, I can get a thousand page views from this year because we make nothing. You've wasted your time. It's not a monetizable keyword. Ads are not a high monetizable form. Like even me talking about affiliate marketing as a focus is good, but it's not like as high as products and stuff. And so anything you can get that, like people are obsessed with getting three cents a page view. Go after, like, try and make a dollar a page view. People just want to show that they've got half a million page views a month rather than making half a million a month by doing this a lot less. Interesting. Yeah. What do you think that is? Do you think it's, I guess, to get some stuff going or, or get the wheels turning? Maybe they're trying to rank for stuff that's easier to rank for, maybe? And so traffic starts there. I'm just spitballing with you, thinking out loud. They do that, and then I guess you can keep doing that but maybe just not planning planning it all out or not really thinking about the full five years down the road or whatever. What do you think it is? I think it's a mixture of not appreciating the value of your time enough to know that you should be surgically pre precise in how you like decide what you are and aren't going to do, which by the way, I'm being a massive hypocrite for because I don't do that nearly enough, but also not planning enough in advance to be like, oh, I'll write that today and this today. It's like, okay, you might get traffic, but you haven't put a coordinated strategy together, really thought through what the content will look like, where your best chance of selling stuff is and how you best optimize that. And even thinking about, like, oh, this lead magnet would really suit this so that you have a 6% conversion rate instead of a 22%, which leads you to exponentially bigger results down the line. And so it's just a deep thought and focus and planning could pay off like a hundred times ROI on the average value of someone's time on their site if really thought through like a cohesive strategy to monetize it properly. Because if not, yeah. you just start with ads and this is like, all right, well, cool, now I just have to write 500 posts a month and I'll get to 100K a month in four years. It's like, well, that's impossible and it's expensive and it will decay over time and you'll end up just like struggling to swim against the tide when you get destroyed in the next helpful content update because none of your stuff is relevant anymore. Oh, all a good point. All good points. For me, that's been one of the, I feel like that's definitely pretty high level thinking to be able to look at what you've got going on objectively and make really strategic decisions. Kind of like what you're talking about, about like increasing click through rates for a certain article can bring like really look at your brands that way to me has been really tough. I wonder if it helps to have an outside eye help you look at those things or have you done that? Have you had anyone from the outside help you look at your stuff objectively or have you been able to look at what you're doing and make those decisions? Yeah, I've had, I've taken really valuable consulting like hour long or two hours. I've had Charles Float look at one of the sites. I've had Luke Jordan look at one of the sites and it's been super helpful. Not necessarily on like a conversion optimization thing, but more like an SEO thing. Like as a couple, I didn't realize that like when we were doing like best buyers guides, for example, with 10 products, if we'd reviewed one of the project products, I wanted to show the review clearly. So I put a bullet point at the end of that with, and then you can check out a full review. For example, they both picked up on that as bad SEO because it's a non-contextual internal link that isn't like related to the previous paragraph to then feed off the semantic relevance of that. So it's like you learn through stuff like that that I didn't know. As for more general stuff, I, one, I'm not that emotionally involved in the sites. I don't love this. Like, it's a means to an end. I'm transactional with it. So that allows me to be more, like, objective with my own stuff and less biased because, I, like, I'm emotional about it. I care about the IF project. I'd struggle with that, but I don't really care about these sites in the same way. So I'm able to be more, like, brutally effective. But also I work with people such as the person who works with me who is a site operator on a couple of the sites and has it and stuff, who's able to then go, no, like, you could be doing this more and this more and that ability to be open has allowed us to be more effective and sort of be more like i was blind and now i can see with our like we that's good man yeah that's super important well, all right i'm gonna let i'm gonna let the folks that are watching this on youtube i'm gonna let them watch this next video if you're listening cool sorry you don't get that and then i'm gonna recap jamie stick around for a second man we'll debrief real quick i enjoyed hanging out with you for sure man thank you very much yes sir